As we go through a little countdown. And we have in the bottom left hand side. Starting us off, we go into Eternal Empire to start this series. Map number one in the bottom left hand side. It's showtime. He is basically fighting for some extra prize money by winning this series. And at the top right, we do have the red Terran player. Special. Who has a lot to play for for the moment. In this group, because he is currently two and one. If he wins this, he's going to be three and one with Australia left to play. I think a win here can put him into a really good spot. Rackmuffin, hey, thank you so much for the gift of subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And welcome everyone to the family. We'll shout those out properly after the game, but just let it be known. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Did you have the gateway going to be coming up then from Showtime? Very standard to begin with. Showtime with no Reaper wall, so we'll not expose his gateway or anything to the side of his base, which is something we've seen a lot recently, uh, or being punished a lot recently, right? Something where, you know, these units come across and then they kill off these structures here and they take that into their advantage. Guys, Showtime is not playing for nothing. Showtime is playing for, like, extra prize money if he wins this series. So, if Showtime wins this series, he is going to be in a really good position to be in fourth place of the group instead of fifth place. And fourth place in the group is extra prize money over fifth place in the group. So there is, there is no, there's not, this is not a pointless series. There is money on the line, ranking in the group on the line. There is absolutely a reason to play still. As this probe moves out down the right, we do see the Reaper of Special around the top side. So yeah, there's absolutely a reason for Showtime to play. This is not a, this is not like, yes, yeah, Showtime can't advance, but you can still win more money. Right, like, there is definitely reason to play. Is it the most, you know, is it the absolutely 100% most, like, oh my god, I've got to win this series. It's the most hyped I've ever been to win a game in my life. Probably not, but it's not like he's just going to sit back and do absolutely nothing and be like, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to bother Mike Rowan. I'm just going to proxy 4-gate you every game. Which is also why I don't agree with what Special was saying about uh, Cure, because he was telling, he was saying that Cure didn't care about the games even when he was, uh, you know, when the series started, which cannot possibly be true because Kyo was not guaranteed first place before the series started. He needed a map win to be able to guarantee first place in the group. So even the last series wasn't really pointless. The last game was perhaps pointless, but the first two games, especially when Australia won the first one, those absolutely still had meaning. Because Kyo didn't have a map, that he could have absolutely not finished in first place in this group. So the game, it's not... Like, every series is suddenly pointless and stuff. As you see, the Adept can take a bit of damage and reduce the units pushing through. Double Reaper and the Hellion able to get the Adept there, but the Hellion goes down. Two Reapers is something we've been seeing more of. As we're going to see the Widow Mine drop with the Armory, so you will have invisible Widow Mines once they're burrowed up. The Showtime goes into the three gates, which is something he was using earlier in his PBTs as well against Cure. So kind of sticking to that idea. Things go down and the Stalker getting hit a little bit right now. There you go, the two Widow Mine's going to try and drop in and of course that's why you're going to need those observers. Now there is two out and there is going to be one here included. So actually gets rid of this first Widow Mine without any losses. Just a pro pull. As now we have got the Widow Mine into the main. Well, this one's going to have to go off and just get safe rope. As the medevac saved it though. So the Widow Mine gets out of there. Now there's another uh, couple of Reapers into the natural. So the attacks continue and Special is able to get a little bit more done out of this. Stalkers are here and... With that blink about a finish for a short time, we'll see a couple of these Reapers being picked up. A couple of Reapers go down, and another Stalker from Showtime warps in as well. 
The simulator comes in off to the side. What are mines burrowing up, stalkers? Falling back. What are mines taking a few extra hits? Blinks to set it off. He gets the medevac. Nice shutdown from Showtime. Does it nicely. Very well done. He's able to clean that out as the Marina special. We'll move on to the map looking to take the information. He gets a Raven behind it. He does opt for 3 CC. So choosing 3 CC over 3 Rats. Means the stem and the combat shields will be pretty late here, but he can just play a very defensive game into the you know into a later stage, into a you know a bigger army, and into that kind of larger macro setup. So that's what we're aiming for at the moment. Charge already coming up from short time in that main base again. That charge up and running the stalkers. Back around up to the top, the Raven is chased away. It's just about able to get to the upper left side before the Stalkers find it. So Showtime, a bit of pressure here and there, but unfortunate to miss that Raven. Now he will see it coming in with the Observer, so he has a bit of a pre-warning about when it's making a move. In fact, he has very good Observer coverage through the top side. Pylon on the bottom, that's a pylon we see pretty much every game in PvT. Yeah. With the Observers, he pulls the probes without losing a single one. There's still, you know, a solid 10 seconds of downtime, though. So it's 10 seconds where you just don't mine from an entire mineral line. And that's going to happen every 50 energy now. So he gets a couple stalks here to slowly start chipping away at that Raven. Otherwise, though, Showtime feels pretty good. And hence the double uh, forge, double upgrades. He wasn't feeling good right now. Probably wouldn't commit into that as the two Marines moving through. A couple of them going down. Three, four Marines picked off already. The Orbital Command will land. Onto the third. There's a Raven actually over here. This time drops the order turret to clean out one of the observers. So we'll take away some of that vision of Showtime. But in this little area here in the dark instead. And if I'm Showtime right now, this is really bother me. This little red dot on my minimap, even though it's just an order turret. I'd keep looking and be like, oh my god. Something to... Uh, <laughs> I, th I think I would actually just send a unit there to get rid of the red dot on the minimap, right? Just because the last time you saw it, there was an order turret there. So it stays on the minimap. I 100% would. That would absolutely trigger me. All right, well, do you have the Marines? The Marines going down. Do you see this uh, storm from Showtime? Continuing in. Raven's still off over to the left, and Special has got himself the combat shields finishing. So, of course, we're talking about these bio upgrades. They're very delayed because of the 3cc choice, but now he's finally getting them, and he's finally, for the first time, able to move out onto the map and make use of all this economy, which he's been building up and transitioning into army supply, of course. As our stalkers. All trade-outs there. Gets a marine kill. Gets another. Special will continue out down to the south, and... I'm gonna go for a run forward here, get the probe kill. Probe goes down. Let's do a tackless one armor continuing in and just seeing the Ghost Academy dropping from special in the main base as well. So getting that Ghost Academy up and running, we still have got this army of Showtime out to the bottom side here, making its way down. A probe already picked off, Marines. Pick off a pylon as well. Goes off, hits a couple of units. Showtime is clear on the way. He's even gonna attack his own zealot to clean up that widow mine. No, he actually killed the zealot. He could have swapped them out. Ah, the zealot was a full on sacrifice. What a zealot. What did he do to deserve that? Is the question I've got to ask. What did he do to, to, to deserve that? That was brutal. Raven out down to the south, as we do have the bio units making their way across as well. Robo Bay about to finish up in the main, and again, everything about ready to get going. Then activates, we're going to see the Zelda being picked away at, and Raven gets targeted down here in this. The Matrix on the Prism is huge, though, because now the High Templar can't drop out and start storming this army. And the Special is going to have a fairly successful fight because of it. Single Widow Mine in the main base. Now it gets cleaned up as well. 
Again, in short time, first real aggression from him, getting a few zealots up to the top side. Able to run these in toward this base is absolutely going to be a... Well, it's going to be a, a play which allows you to... Finally, kind of put something, you know, some pressure on the Terran and wasn't going so well, but these SCVs are starting a long distance mine, so that is a few kills which Showtime can get. At the same time, big push up this Ramy for special. Big storms across this army. Special running up, taking quite a lot of damage. Widowmines burrow up on top of the Immortals and Archons. Those are really good connections. Hits nine probes. Oh, those are some really good connections, actually. And now, you've got these Zealots going to continue chasing down, though. I mean, these Zealots still here. They have done so much. If it wasn't for these Zealots, Showtime might be in a bit of trouble with the Zealots. I think he's okay. He is holding on. He's got Storms still available. Some fun fights out on the bottom of the map. A special re reposition back through into the center here now. So special back through into the middle. We do see the bio medevac army joining up as well. There's two couple of Archons will finish up. Two more sentries will be warping in. Showtime out around the right. A couple of ghosts, a couple of Vikings all setting up the Fort Widow Mines coming through as well and going down to the south. Going to go for the push into this six o'clock base. A couple of EMPs, a high sample taking big hits, another EMP or two going down. Some of these zealots here still being picked away at. One more of these zealots being picked off. We're going to see more zealots being taken down. We're just going to be seeing the Archons. Also going to be picked off at the moment. I mean, there's a lot of Archons dropping. He's now going to get 40, gets one of the Colossi. And he still has a tank in the background, but also plenty of Widow Mines. If you run forward into this, these Widow Mines are going to start getting some extra damage. The Marauders show up to help, and now he's going to chase in. The shield battery runs out of energy, so the Colossi do continue to fall down to one. The Showtime just about holds on, but the Widow Mines are getting some extra shots. Special believes in going back into this. We'll get the cannon. Really wants to break this location. Couple of Vikings. Obviously not a lot of anti-air here, so the Colossus is taking quite a few shots. The Viking, one of them just about gets away, now goes down. Turns to fight this again, hits an EMP. Especially important on those Zelds that go running forward. The Widow Mines are just not quite in the right place. Especially these ones on the low ground. They're just not really adding to much at the moment at all. The special go back away. Showtime holds on. The second Colossus now popping out to reinforce this army. And Showtime makes a hell of a hold in a very tough scenario. A very difficult position. That was not how things were meant to be looking. As this army of special backs away. Up through the right side. Up to the top. Away he goes. Alleviating some of the pressure that he's held on Showtime for the last couple minutes. Oh, Probes of Showtime will make their way through to the bottom right-hand base. Two more disruptors are already in production, and they're going to rally out to join up with the rest of this. Showtime. Moving up the left-hand side for Colossi. Now building into Disruptors. Getting into that very powerful state of this game. Three full medevacs going all the way around the side. The Zelda of Showtime. Gonna go for a move. And where it can get to. Army of Special heading to the bottom right as well. And again, Colossi, Zealots, and Stalkers are wanting to set up. As we do have, the Fire Unload and Battery Overcharge is going to pop. And the Storm helps them defend. This is the battery, but I mean, actually, losing the battery is a big deal, right? Because now it gives Special a chance to drop this position again, unless Showtime reinvests into it. It's probably one of the better things you could pick up. I will unload as we do have some fights happening out on the map. Disruptor coming in for the flank. As the Vikings are going to be the question mark. They have, I mean, it's kind of weird. Like the Vikings, there's nothing, there's not really that many of them, but there's just going to be enough of them to take this down because there's no stalkers that were actually able to fight the Vikings. Zelda over the top is trying to deny the base from coming up as Showtime's fit. Looks as though it will be denied. This drop comes back in. There's still units over here. 
Showtime now gonna lose a big chunk of probes. As this guy's chased away out down the bottom. Special continues to rally out to the corner. He's gonna be able to take this Nexus down. We're gonna see the rest of the Zod Stalker army coming across. We're gonna go straight into this. Get the ghost to begin with. The Vikings will land. Uh, this is good if the Vikings can fight the Stalkers. The Zelts on top of the bio. This is the Vikings taking on the Stalkers. I mean, obviously, at this point, you're just using the Vikings to kind of soak up a little bit of extra damage. They've already paid, you know, done their duty of getting rid of the Colossi. Now he gets rid of the Disruptor as well, and there's just not enough units from Showtime to protect the Disruptors. Just one fires from far enough away. Lift up wasn't in time on enough of the units. The special will continue down to the south, but will go via this fifth base in the front. So, we're going to get this base to begin with. We'll take this down to start. Stalkers fling forward, the Zelts coming through, disrupt the shot, will not land. And the rest of these Zelts continue to drop as we see disruptors. He dives on them, he's gonna get one, he's going to get the other. So both the disruptors will go down, the Archon gets picked off, High Templar cleans out as well. And this bio army just continues forward as Special has everything he needs to clean up. Finish this first game off. And a pretty awesome game on Eternal Empire to start off this best of three. A special again the first game which he was also and we start off in the bottom left with the player who is then trailing it is in the blue showtime when here from special guarantees him out of the group but still could improve his score to do a little bit better on top of that as you see the depot setting up the front SCV in the probe and production Getting that up and ready to go over the next while. Well, probe coming across and special will just fully wall off initially. So already a bit of a mind game here. Come up here at Showtime, you see that depot and you're like, huh, so you don't want me seeing what's in your base. As we are going to have the... Let's see if he actually comes to the other side and actually tries to fight this probe. So he really wants to scare it off. And then can turn around and continue the depot. Nope, just wants to go back to... Back over here to build. He's going to build a factory on the far bottom side of his base then. Factory begins. This Marine just continuing up. Probe fighting the SCV. Factory building from Special in the main base. Again, that up and running. Just seeing the... Well, set up continuing. We do have the warp gate building on the cybernetics core. Special one to do from this factory. I mean, typically, uh, it's usually a fast drop of some sort. If you're going to end up expanding in the end, so like a fast Hellion or fast Widowmine drop, both of those really do kind of work well. Starport about halfway done. Obviously, if you build one heli in this case, it's not just for a scout or anything. This is absolutely going to be more Hellions and getting those drops off. Second Hellion about to pop. We do have the Marines on top of this ramp and the probe. Continue across. Fusion Core builds from Special. That's going to be the, the fun follow-up here. It's going to go into a, a Hellion drop into, into what is a follow-up? I don't even know. Fusion Core into... 
have a Perusa? Kind of has to be, right? What else do you do? Showtime sees the Medivac coming, so he gets a really good read as you just go into Blink. Robo, then two more gateways, so game playing pretty standard for the most part. We'll see how well he does against the Hellions. Now, the big thing here is it's only three Hellions, so as soon as you lose one, you do lose that one-shot potential. So, right away, it's going to make this a little bit funky. It's the natural special. What can he do? Short time. This Hellion's not going to block the Hellion probe. Spreading out. Every single Hellion shot so far has only found one probe, so that's great. I mean, if you have to get a, you know, every shot only gets one worker, I think that's probably the best you could ask for. Special does have the battle cruiser ready to start up, so that's going to be his plan. He's just going to, I mean, this is still a one baser, though. He's going to add an extra rack. He's going to stay on one base with a battle cruiser. One base battle cruiser siege tank push? I, I just honestly don't know. It's very unique. I mean, one thing's for sure this battle cruiser is going to be extremely important. If you don't have this battle crew, if you don't keep this battle cruiser alive, you may as well be saying goodbye to this game already. A couple of aliens do drop in, will run forward, and probes already taking a lot of damage. Four workers killed. Oh, it's a scary moment. All those probes stacked up, although only a couple of would have gone down. Again, only two aliens, right? Not in one shot range. You need that third alien to make that truly terrifying. I didn't get, you know, they didn't get the shot anyway in the end. Well, just going to be seeing the VC is about to pop out. And it's going to be heading across the map. So Battlecruiser and across to that left-hand side. Going up, we do see the Stalkers of Showtime taking some extra damage as well. Special continue to push this over to that left side, then Banshee for the extra Marines coming through. Charge is building from Showtime also. It's getting that charge up and running. Stalkers hanging up overhead. There is a wooden mine here that you can just blink away from. There is no armory, so it goes down straight after. And here we go, big push making its way through. Do you see? Let's make a reappearance. There's the tank coming in. BC back into the main base right now. Stork is going to show up. So he's going to teleport it all the way back home or just back to safety? Okay, just back to safety. There are SCVs here that can, of course, repair it. So we'll be able to repair that up. Get that back to full HP. Showtime. Fully walled here, by the way, but of course, then that wall off, you could argue, is going to be in trouble to a BC Banshee and tank fire. That's obviously uh, absolutely an issue, as we do have. Tank sieging up, and Gateway's already taking some heavy hits. Banshee and the Battle Cruiser firing away. Robo Facility is in some major trouble. Oh no. Robo Facility, what do you do? You don't get it out. You don't save it. I mean, Battery could have saved it, maybe. Could have overcharged that battery, but how important is your Robo? Is it worth using one of your mean defensive, uh, you know, abilities to make that happen? Stalkers from the back lines come in. They get one of the siege tanks. These stalkers are going to look for reinforcements as well. And they're already going to find a couple of marines. And now stalkers out the front trying to get a little bit more done. Continue to come through. The BC is actually on its own in the background. No repair there for it as the stalker count looks to be perhaps just a little bit too high. Loses a couple though. More Marines in the tank rallying through the center of the map. Special continue to send units across that far left side. Stalkers continue to blink around the first Stalkers. Just not quite able to get that BC. More SCVs are going to pull as a couple of Marines already starting to go down. That is going to be building up. And this BC surviving on low HP is going to start being repaired. Especially if these SCVs get to join up. These Stalkers obviously are preoccupied and pushed away if you have charge now i mean charge should help against the marines and the tanks of course and actually especially as this gateway goes down you get that kind of freedom to move forward more easily i don't mind this with the charge being there the stalks once again intercept and reinforcements special just on 16 scvs this is really becoming a do or die i mean it was, was kind of a do or die push right but it's getting down to the final moments now where he can't really buy much more time 
battery overcharge pops the cells go to try and solo the marines and the tanks bc is going to fall tg is called and showtime will tie the series up 1-1 defending this one base battle cruiser bio kind of rush it's a little bit crazy as gg's called get tied up bottom left hand side we do have the blue protoss player it is showtime holding off that one base as in the top right our red terran is special Max will set up here for special. Let's let's start it up. I proxy that forward a little bit. Racked out in the front probe is just gonna scout up into the main. Have a look around. Do you see this CP continuing to pop out? Of course, Showtime shows up and there's no racks in this base, but you see the double gas, so shows you a pretty good idea of what it is. The question is, does Showtime build the Zealot or not? He doesn't. He goes into the Nexus, which I think nowadays is kind of the go to. Um, a lot of players are doing this kind of fake proxy racks, and then it's kind of close to home, in which case you really don't need the Zealot. Okay, he goes Nexus, then Zealot. The question is, does he let the Zealot finish? I actually don't mind it if it's after the Nexus anyway. But there is no reason to really delay the Nexus for this anymore, so... Yeah, I, uh, I kind of like how this is going. As the Zealot pops out. I'm just going to see this probe out down in the center. Reaper is uh, moving down. Showing up next is about to finish from Showtime in the natural. Just going to be seeing the command center in the natural as well. And just pro poking up. There is a factory already building a reactor. Talk coming through. Reaper taking a shot already and just going to be having the Reaper pushed around. Warpgate is building up. gonna get here and is gonna go in SCV is gonna take a few shots a couple of reapers coming out the front and we do see the SCVs there as well when it goes down so the stalk again bopped around gonna be seeing this uh well continue to be pushed back at the moment so a couple of reapers getting pushed and controlling the natural right here Focus to around Reaper. Just get picked up. I mean, this isn't that multiple Reapers and two Hellions, but it's kind of scary. But then there's so many Stalkers over here that Showtime's pressure will continue. And um, the biggest issue is getting back up this ramp. You take shots on your way up there, you get close, and then it means the Reapers and Hellions can stay on top of your units. And you just lose that range time because the racks now will lift up. No point trying to rally extra Marines in over there. So this racks going back up to the top. Factory going to move to the side. We'll start a tech lab. He's going to go out down to the bottom side. Cloak is building. The bench coming through. And a couple extra Marines coming into play. Uh, I said Nexus from Showtime. He's already building up. So, I mean, as long as you defend this, I really feel like this is okay for Showtime. Reaper Grenade doesn't do what it wants to do. It wants to blast those stalkers out the way to create an opening for the Hellions to drive by. But not really able to. It doesn't really work out like that in the end. Reaper in the 
Blue Hellion setting up. We do see the Banshee of Special out down to the bottom side, and the uh, Hallucination is going to move up to the uh, top of this. So Hallucination back up to the north, going to go into the main base. We do have a couple of extra gateways continuing down in the main, so a couple of extra gates will continue to build. A couple of Stalkers coming through, and this Flame Forward is going to take out the Reaper, so the Reaper will fall. And a couple of gates from Showtime continuing in as the Banshee picks off a couple of probes. So Banshee is able to get a few probes as well already, just going to be moving through. We're going to have the continuation of this. Uh, it's kind of painful. Observers are out. There's one chasing into the main. At the same time, Hellions show up on the third. Special trying to go for that double dive to get some extra damage done here. Just not quite able to really make much of it just yet. Eleven probes have fallen. Banshee now on the third base. And Showtime's really just fallen apart to the Banshees now. There's nothing in the main as this Banshee shows up. A little blow to move. He will clean up this one, but 14 workers now lost is obviously a, a big, big issue, right? That's, that's a lot of numbers. Probes pull back across into the main. Banshee over to the side. Just going to see the few stalkers still out the front as well. And Marines are going to be setting up. Settling down. Back in a way, and obviously a few stalkers out the front from Showtime. Still just trying to keep up a little bit of pressure here. Whenever possible. Simpack Combat Shield plus one attack continues through, and just going to be having the Upgrade's finally starting to kick in. Obviously, it's been pretty uh, delayed throughout here so far. Stalkers just doing what Stalkers do. Kind of way. Getting as rid of as many Marines as possible. So, quite a few of these Marines going down. The Orbital Command will set up. That third down. The Banshee is still on the map, though, man. There's been quite a few Banshees, hasn't there? Really, a uh, pretty big commitment uh, to all of these. How many have we had? Just the three. It feels like so many more because they've been all over the place, and obviously a few of them have escaped without being killed off when they kind of felt they should have been. Nice feedback. Gets rid of the cloaking. Uh, it tries to go for a high Templar, but shield battery is there to protect it. Good idea, though. It's definitely not a, a bad idea. Definitely one of the better ways you can do something. This Banshee. Surviving a bit longer because it wasn't targeted, the lower health one. Man, Special's just done so much this game. 33 workers have gone down. So 33 workers killed is obviously ridiculous numbers. The bio army setting up down to the bottom. We do see this Banshee here. Stork is still taking some heavy damage. Special goes stimming in. We're going to be seeing these few High Templar already taking some hits. Salmi from Special backs off. Re-engages in. But the line doesn't go off just yet. Uh, I really feel like this is going to be a struggle for Showtime to hold on. I mean, what's he working with? He's actually, actually only, right then, he only had one storm. Now he'll have two, but, yeah, this is brutal. How many workers in the end? 34. He didn't get any extra since I last checked. I will continue through into the center, the center tower. Building from special in the front of the third base as well. And this medevac has a few widow mines inside. We'll head into that main in just a few moments. Hopefully gets picked off as we will see special still coming through. Hi, 
Okay, moving down. Prism. Oh, Medivac's already into the main base. A few Widowmines are going to be able to start unloading. So a couple of unloads first. Widowmine will go off on one probe already. And now these Stalkers blink into intercept. And these Widowmines need to try and burrow up again. Loses another of them. Ah, he's going to get them all cleaned out. Good defense from Showtime. It's funny because I feel like if there's ever a player I don't expect to fall apart to the different cloak Banshees, it probably is Showtime, right? Like, he's really the player I look at. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know... He's got this under control. He's fine with that. And uh, stuff like that. So, uh... I just see the prism loading up. A few zealots they are going to move out over to the side. Starts to pick up a kill right there. And a scan on top of this. The Menevax and all the rest of it. Continue to look okay. By moving around, a few ghosts involved, of course. I do like special zombie. Showtime not quite maxed out just yet. That's going to be seeing Showtime back up the rise. Going to go charging in. Zealots are going to kind of leave that charge initially. A few ghosts are there. EMP hits the High Templar. The EMP is going down. There's one High Templar apparently. Hit by an EMP, he doesn't want to be have that happen anymore. He's just like, take me now. Dives into the Terran army, not how things are meant to go. A couple extra Vikings still coming up. Stork is going to blink forward here. Big EMP is going across a lot of this. Trying to hit the EMPs as the uh, High Templar drop out, but a lot of them did. I mean, they avoided the EMPs. The EMPs were maybe just a moment too soon. Continue back away, a couple of units from the top side, not able to get there, still like it especially, he cleans out a lot without taking any of the damage, right, you know, that's the thing you're really hoping to avoid, those storms, and he has done that, even if he didn't get rid of the uh, High Templar. It's going to be seeing our uh, Medivacs back up through the middle here, and there's going to be a Nexus dropping down in the next few moments, a couple of ghosts still coming in. Just gonna see our medevacs of special will continue down to the main base. I mean, this is a nice drop because Showtime is not even in the slightest bit of position to really deal with this. No recall energy available on the main, so you can't do much about that either. Also, maybe seeing Scan goes down, Pylon's getting picked off. Uh, yeah, you just don't save this main nexus, I don't think. The best you can do is probably recall the natural or just keep pushing and then try and take a base for a base. But his production's in trouble there as well, so you need to do so much. Specials out of EMPs for the moment. A couple of Vikings, though, might be looking for that War Prism. Oh, he's going to deny plus two upgrades. And there's a few units that have made it back around here. Honestly, with a little bit of a choke point here, so let's have to go around. The Marines pull back the Marauder sit and tank. Well, now we actually see a fight in the middle of the map. The High Templar get taken down. The War Prism falls without getting the drop. And Special will take it two to one. Finds the win in the series. And we'll move through with that victory. GG is Special 2-1.